Yeah. 
Good evening. On this Holy Thursday evening Mass of the Lord's Supper, we extend a warm welcome to everyone as we gather to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. We kindly ask that all cell phones be silenced in reverence for today's liturgy. Today's Eucharist is be being celebrated by Father Dominic and con-celebrated by Father Raphael, Monsignor Jim, and Father Leo, and assisted by Deacon Roger and Deacon Charlie. You can find the readings for today's liturgy in our Journey, Journey Songs Missal at number 899. So let us all rise and welcome our celebrants on this special night. Let's gather us in. to you in the light of this day. Gather us in the lost and forsake. Gather us in the blind and the lame. Call to us now and we shall awaken. We shall arise at the sound of our name. We are the young, our lives are a mystery. We are the old who yearn for your name. We have been sung throughout all of history, called to be like to the whole human race. Gather us in the rich and the hot. Gather us in the blind and the strong. Give to the heart so meek and so lowly, give us the courage to enter the song. We are the sun, the white and the white, here we will take the Here we shall call your sons and your daughters, call us to you to be so called the earth. Give us to drink the wine of compassion. Give us to eat the bread that is you. Nourish us well and teach us to fashion lives that are holy and hearts that are true. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Of the Evangelist Church, I want to, we want to thank our priests and wish them a happy and holy priesthood day. Come on.
My brothers and sisters, we have completed our Lenten observance and now have begun the solemn celebration of the Easter feast. On this great day, it is our duty to glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we have a salvation, life, and resurrection. These oils we receive tonight were blessed and consecrated by John, our bishop, at the Christian Mass for use throughout the year. With them, the sick will be anointed. Those awaiting the waters of rebirth will be strengthened, and those who are baptized and confirmed will share the mission of Christ the Anointed. By the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, who fills this holy oils with life and grace, the saving work of Jesus Christ is continued in the Church. The oil of the sick. This oil is used for anointing those who are ill in body, mind, or spirit. Our prayer is that all who are anointed with this oil may be brought to health and strength. May the sick who are anointed with the oil experience the compassion of Christ and his saving love in body, mind, and soul. Behold the oil of the sick, receive God's grace and healing. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The oil of the catechumens. Through the anointing with this oil, may our catechumens, who are preparing to receive the saving waters of baptism, be strengthened by Christ to resist the power of Satan and reject evil in all its forms. Our prayer is that, as with the ancient athletes and warriors, those anointed with oil help them face difficult challenges, those who are anointed with the oil of the catechumens may be strengthened to meet the challenges of their baptismal calling. Behold the oil of the catechumens, receive God's strength and wisdom. Thanks be to God. The sacred chrism. This is a mixture of oil and perfume and is consecrated and used in the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and holy orders. It is also used in the consecration of churches and sacred objects. Our prayer is that, through the use of these aromatic oils, those anointed with it may be strengthened by the, Holy Sp the power of the Holy Spirit as they continue their journey in life. Behold the sacred chrism, give thanks, O priestly people. Thanks be to God. Let us sing the praises of the Lord, the God who made us, whose glory is from age to age. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. 
We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, oh God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have called us to participate in, the, on the, in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son when about to hand himself over to death, and trusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through Christ our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat, it roasted, eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thank you, God. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Everyone. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. How shall I repay the Lord for all the good he's done for me? The cup of salvation I'll take up 
call upon his name. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of one who serves you. I am your servant, son of your handmaid. You have set me free. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. I call on your name. To you I offer the sacrifice of praise. Before all the nations, I will show my vows before my God. Our blessing God is a communion with the blood. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord. The word of the Lord. And again, this afternoon, we have the opportunity to participate in the gospel, the passion of our Lord, according to St. John, number 900 in your books. But you can also follow along with the overhead screens. Our part, the crowd, is highlighted in red. So let's remain seated throughout, except to kneel at our Lord's death. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please stand. That would be not expensive. No, first, first name is first. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A new commandment I give, says the Lord, love one another as I have loved you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. 
He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So, during supper, fully aware that the father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with a towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, a um, year ago, uh, my friend, uh, she called me uh, after the Easter sharing about something very personal for her, which was happening exactly a few days before the Holy Trido. And you know, she said to me something like this. You know, Dominic, I was so busy during this uh, whole Lenten season, it was impossible for me to get to the confession, so I was waited for the last second. And it was the confession in her parish, you know, on the Holy Wednesday at evening. So, the, the confession was scheduled that will be at 5 p.m. So she told me, you know, I was ready like that. Before the 4, I got to the church, okay? And I was surprised because the, be, before me was like the line about the 20 people to the confession. And she said, okay, I will be staying and saying the rosary. Okay, but it was exactly 5 p.m. the time scheduled for the confession. And the operations manager showed up the front of these people from this church, and this person said to all of them, guys, I'm so sorry, but will be no confession. That priest is feeling not well, so we have to cancel the confession. Why I am sharing this story? Because today we celebrate the priesthood. And in this moment, you know, maybe it's like the opportunity, an invitation for us that we have pray for this priest which we have around us. And also we have to pray for the new vocations to the priesthood. Because after this year's, uh, you know, confession, we have experience that thanks be to God is more and more and more people, but not so good is every year less and less and less priests. And you know, maybe this is also like the invitation for us, because um, uh, also today we celebrated the second sacrament, the Eucharist. And very often we are forgetting that if will be no priest, will be no Eucharist. If will be no priests, 
no Eucharist. And you know, in today's church, we have sometimes the tendency not to be grateful during the every Holy Eucharist. Not singing, joyful, participating, be opening. No. We have sometimes the tendency to uh, make something like the divisions and speculations. How the Eucharist should be celebrated. What the priest should say. What and how I should receive the Holy Communion on my tongue or my hand. And sometimes, you know, we start thinking that, okay, I am more devoted and more holy because I received the Holy Communion. That and not that, or that and not that. We are now that both ways are okay. But you know, this is like the, maybe something what we are missing. Why we are here during the ever Holy Eucharist. To be thankful, to be joyful, to listen to God, to celebrate. And you know, these last few days, when I was thinking and meditating um, this, um, this liturgy before this, uh, this uh, tonight's uh, uh, homily, came to my mind two events from my life. The first, the first event is the day of my, my first communion. This was not wedding. And you know, this was like the, the moment which maybe we have to recall. The moment when we first time received the Holy, uh, Holy Eucharist. When it was the first moment I received Jesus. Of course, mostly we were like the kids. And we don't remember. Maybe we, uh, it's difficult for us to come back for this day and think, okay, I felt something. Was something different in my life? In my heart? Or nothing? And second event, which came to my mind, I know was the, uh, my first public Holy Eucharist in my parents' parish. was many, many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, this is also, for me, like the priest, okay, this was an amazing moment when the first time, you know, from the bread and wine, because of the consecration on the altar, was born body and the blood of Jesus Christ. And I was thinking and meditating about these two events from my life, but also I started thinking that, for example, okay, but this is not the whole truth. Was a lot of years between that. Was a lot of years which I remember that after First Communion, okay, I was like the happy, you know, joyful kid coming to the church, but something was happened. I was hurt, I was hurt by the priest in the confession who threw me out from the confession because he didn't like the sins which I confess and was not moral sins. And he stopped the absolution and I stopped coming to the church because of him. I was, you know, so tired about this political pulpit homilies during the every Holy Eucharist. I was, I was tired about these people who are so devoted and holy inside the church, and outside, straight after the Holy Eucharist, they were gossiping about someone else. <coughs> and because of these thousand reasons, you know, I left the church. Stop coming to the Sunday Holy Eucharist. Stop receiving, holy, uh, uh, stop receiving the sacraments. But I remember one thing. That wherever I was hurt, disappointed, you know, angry, frustrated, I was missing the Holy Eucharist. 
I was missing this Holy Eucharist. So maybe, you know, today's Holy Eucharist, the celebrations of the Last Supper of Jesus Christ, is the good moment for all of us to think about the first moment when I received the Holy Eucharist. It's maybe another moment when truly I start to understand what the Holy Eucharist means for me and my life. How the Holy Eucharist is healing and changing me. And how, outside of the church, I am or not yet. That I am or not yet the disciple of the Eucharist. That I am the Eucharistic person or not yet. You know, on this uh, last Monday, uh, during the Christmas Mass, uh, when Bishop was preaching the homily, he invited us, like the priests, to be the good shepherds, okay? That be good example, that trying to be always the same on the, this or another side of the altar. Be the same, be for people, be between the people. He was sharing a lot of uh, uh, fun or not fun situation from his priesthood or from different complaints which he's getting, you know, to his office. But it was an amazing moment. But maybe today we have to a little evaluate and a little uh, put this high, on the higher pos position, okay, because of the celebration of the Holy Eucharist here. On this, during this last supper. Maybe today also in the church we are worrying, we are thinking, okay? We are here during the Holy Eucharist. We know what the Holy Eucharist means. But why? A lot of people is outside and it's not coming for the Sunday Holy Eucharist. Why a lot of very often we are saying why a lot of young people is outside they are not coming here. So maybe, again, examination of my conscience. I know this from my life, that I was away from the church many, many years. And I am grateful. And probably I became a priest, not just of, because of the Jesus grace, but because of a lot of people who became for me the witnesses how Jesus and the Holy Eucharist is changing them. We can accuse them everyone who is outside. But what we are doing to bring them back? When I am with my family, I, am, I cannot be in the same room because always I am fighting with another member of, the, uh, of my family. This is not Eucharistic person. I stop talking with my son, grandson, someone from my past because I don't like what this person is doing. This is not Eucharistic person. I am judging, accusing thousand people of something, what they are doing. Confession, and Jesus is for that, not we. This is not Eucharistic person. The Eucharist, first is thanksgiving, but second also is like the power of Jesus' healing. You have this experience. We are on this another side of the altar, like the priest. We also have this experience. How the Holy Eucharist is changing. Probably if I would be asked, Father Rafa, Monsignor, Father Leo, okay, they will be sharing about the same. About how the every Holy Eucharist with which we are celebrating is always different. And how our feelings, emotions, feeling well, not well, uh, sins, everything what is happening in our lives, how is infecting or enjoying every Holy Eucharist which we are celebrating. The same should be about us. Every moment when I am receiving Jesus should be the moment when I am doing this by myself, that I am whole. Involved in that. My heart, my mind, everything, my fears, family, friends, everything what is going on in my life. Maybe after that, this thousand people who is still outside will be coming because they will be see in us open tabernacle with the Jesus full of, full of love forgiveness, mercy, lessening. And this will be the process 
of their changing. You know, in the few minutes, I chose and invite 11 people this year sitting here on these chairs for the washing of the feet. Not 12, 11. Why? Because this one empty chair this year maybe can be like the you know, moment when I can imagine during these celebrations, uh, during this washing of the feet, that on this chair, on the spiritual way, I am. And that Jesus is kneeling in front of me with everything what is in my life. That maybe should this also empty chair be like an invitation that I am right now kneeling in the front of everyone Every person, my friends, neighbors, family, and I will be kneeling the front of them. That maybe I will be kneeling the front of someone who is so difficult for me. That maybe I will be kneeling the front of someone who is right now in the heaven, and I am missing this person so much. So maybe if this way of the Jesus be a, Eucharistic, be a Eucharistic people. In this moment, if these celebrations of the washing of the feet, that I will be always on my knees, the front of everyone, maybe this will be the good way that the whole world will be changed because we will be seeing in every member of not our church, but the whole Jesus church, the beautiful monstrance with the Eucharist, Jesus, who is healing and changing all of us. Amen? Amen. So right now, I would like to invite these 11 people here, which I choose. the neighbors we have from you. Jesus, 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 you fill us with your love, show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Kneels at the feet of his friends, silently, 
gently washes their feet. Master who pours out Himself for them. Yesu, Yesu, fill us with Your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from You. Neighbors are rich folk and poor, varied in color and race. Neighbors are nearby and far away. Jesus, Jesus, fill us with Your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from You. These are the ones we should serve. These are the ones we should love. All these are neighbors in love with you. Jesus, Jesus, fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. At the feet of our friends, silently washing their feet. This is the way we should live with you, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. At the feet of his friends, silently washes their feet. Master who poured out himself for them. Jesus, 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 fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from. Neighbors are rich folk and poor, varied in color and rain. Neighbors are nearby and far away. Jesus, 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 fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Please stand. On this blessed night, we remember the graces of the Last Supper as we pray. For the church, may she rededicate herself to a life of service and sacrificial self-giving through the gesture of washing the feet, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. On this night in which the Lord establishes the priesthood. May all priests, especially our pastor, our vicar, and our parish priests recommit themselves to holiness and renew their zeal for the blessed sacrament of the altar. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That God's name will be glorified by a faithful response from all men and women called to follow Christ and his passion through a vocation to the priesthood, the diaconate, or a consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. For our military, police, and firefighters, may God send down his blessings on these, your servants, who so generously devote themselves to protecting and helping others, we pray to the Lord. For the people of our parish, especially those joining our community at the Easter Vigil, may the transformative power of the Holy Eucharist open their hearts to recognize Christ as the source and summit of life. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they find eternal life in heaven through God's grace, mercy, and our prayers. 
We also remember those for whom this holy mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers and intentions that we placed in our prayer book, and for all the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We also pray for the grace to be transformed by Christ's example of self-sacrificing love in our daily lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Most merciful Father, through the sacrifice of your Son, the true meaning of life is revealed. May his love penetrate our love to become more genuine and pure through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now as our gifts are presented and prepared, let us sing number 828 in your songbooks, Whatsoever You Do. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do, to the least of my people that you do unto me. When I was homeless, you opened your door. When I was naked, you gave me your gold. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you the least of my people that you do unto me. When I was weary, you helped me find rest. When I was anxious, you calmed all my fears. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you of my people that you do unto me. When in a prison I came to myself, when I was sick, you came to my knees. Now enter into the hope of my Father. Whatsoever you do, to the least of my people that you do unto me. When I was left and you stood by my side, when I was happy you shared in my joy, now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you to the least of my people that you do want to be.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For wherever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern on everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim commanding us to make this offering and his memorial. As uh, we eat uh, his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim. Sancto, Sancto, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uncelli et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, Qui venit in nomine Domine, Hosanna in To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, which uh, this holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant this peace, to guide, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with uh, your servant, Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all those who, who holding to the true hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which our Lord Jesus Christ was handed over for our sake, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus and Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysonogus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, as we observe that day on which our Lord Jesus Christ handed on the mysteries of his blood and blood for his disciples to celebrate. Order our days in your peace, 
and command that we be delivered from internal damnation and counted among the flag of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make this spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the bad and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, for our salvation and the salvation of all that is today, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, uh, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the, his precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon the these offerings with a serene and a kindly countenance, and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. We humbly pray, we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angels to your altar on height, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation and the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace through Christ our Lord. To us also, your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we visit you into their company, not waiting our merits, but granting us your pardon. 
through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but of the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Are you staying? Qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Are you staying? Qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Are you staying? Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh, 
And you satisfy the hungry heart with gift the finest we come give to us, O oh, saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift the finest we. The bread of life to me, as when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart. With gift the finest wind, come give to us, O oh, saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should count us worthy. This heavenly food, you satisfy the hungry heart with gift the finest wind. Come, give to us, oh, saving Lord, the bread of life to be. Is not the God we bless and share the blood? Do not one cup, one loaf declare our oneness in the Lord. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift the finest wind. Come, give to us, O oh, saving Lord, the bread of life to be. The mystery of your presence, Lord, no mortal tongue can tell, whom all the world cannot contain, how in our hearts to dwell. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift the finest wind. Come, give to us, O oh, saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. You give yourself to us, O oh Lord, then selfless let us be to serve each other in your name, in true and charity.
Let us pray. Grant Almighty God that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We have one Eucharistic minister. My brother, you are sent from this assembly to bring the word of God and the bread of life to the sick members of our parish family. Go to them with our love, our care, and our prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, thank you so much for this night celebration of the Jesus Last Supper. Thank you so much for this uh, roses and beautiful wishes uh, on this uh, priesthood day. We are so grateful to be with you and celebrate this special day for us with you. And uh, right now we will be started the procession to the parish hall and the adoration in the parish hall will be until 11 p.m. Tomorrow schedule 9 in the morning the uh, morning prayers Noon, Stations of the Cross, and 3 p.m., the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ here in the church. Now let us begin our procession with the Blessed Sacrament out of the entrance of the church, around and into the hall. If you wish to remain in the church, the words will be provided for you on the overhead. Otherwise, if you're joining us in the procession, the ushers will supply you with the sheet containing all the lyrics to Pange Lingua. We will alternate the verses from Latin to English. After the service, you may leave these sheets in the hall to be picked up. And this will conclude our Holy Thursday service. Adoration in the hall will be available. We return tomorrow for the Stations of the Cross at 12 o'clock. And then 3 o'clock is our service. Pange lingua gloriosi Corporis mysterium, 